Boda. Oh my God, Boda. Boda. <laughs> we don't know who is the host. Once I remove the virus, I'll pop up to your computer where you can run faster. You have been invaded by Boda. <laughs> Hey guys, Bodhi here. Welcome to another Friday Night Scammer Destruction. Tonight, we have another publisher's clearinghouse scam. Now, if you remember from previous weeks, we talked to the scammer Mr. Davenport. Well, that group is certainly persistent, as you will see. This video details how the scammers pivot their scam quickly to keep hold of the victim. Moving from main character to supporting ones, they adapt to each situation. This tactic is what keeps victims under their control for months, sometimes years. Elma has plans for them, though, so sit back and relax because we're going to mess with some scammers. Yes, yes, hello. Hello. Yes, am I speaking with Miss Winter? Uh, yes, this is Miss Winter. Okay, so did you go and do the overnight express? It's who, Mary. Who's, who's, who's this? It's Mary. Mary. Oh, yes. Did I, did I do what, sorry? Did you go and send over the check? The check. Um... Remember I told you to write a check yes, over yes. towards the company? Oh, yes. I said that last night. Yes. Yeah, so you go to the post office and do the overnight express? Yes. Yeah. So can I get the trucking number, please, ma'am? Oh, the what? Remember I told you whenever you come back, call me and give me the trucking number? I a trucking number? I don't know what truck it was on. It's probably whatever so, truck was leaving next. I don't know. So you did go to the post office and do an overnight express on the check, right? I don't. I don't understand. What do, What do you mean? Remember yesterday we have a talk, and I told you to write a check for a thousand dollars to receive your two point five million dollars in your Mercedes Benz in your full pickup truck. You remember we said that? Uh, well, I, I sent. I sent it off. Oh. Hello? Yes, are you hearing me? Are you you're hearing me? Hello? Hello? Miss Winter? Yes. Hello? Yes, yes, hello. I'm asking you. Did you Holy cow, what the Did... hell was that? Are you hearing me now? No, oh my god. What's happening? Did you go and send over the mail to the post office yesterday? Yes, yeah, I did. Yeah. And I need a tracking number so I can track the, the check. That is what I, I need the tracking number. The what number? The tracking number. The tracking number. I don't know what track it's on. I'm sorry. I didn't ask. Yeah, I think it's just a mail go, truck. It's just a mail truck. It's just a mail truck? Oh, where's it going? It might, might, it could be flying. I don't know. Where's it going? Where was, where did it go again? I sent you the ad. Remember, I told you the address and I told you the name. Remember? What What was that? What name was that? The name was jo yeah. Oh, you remember now? Huh? I, I know that name. I told you the name yesterday to write the check to words, right? Yes, yes, but and you did go to the post office. And do an overnight uh, I just, I, express. I knew a guy named a long time ago, but he would be over a hundred years old now. No, it's not that. It's not that that you know. So I'm asking you: Did you go to the post office and do an overnight express? That is what I'm asking you. I, well, I sent it. Hello? I sent it to an address that I have here. I have it written down. <coughs> Let me see. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, it's right here. I wrote it. So, Cause you guys keep confused. You guys keep confusing me all the time, saying, "Oh, it needs to be this, and it needs to be that. Now it needs to be this, and now it needs to be that." And I just don't know what what I'm what what's going on. So it is exactly what I say to you, and you said, "Mary, okay, I'm going to pay. I'm going to write a thousand dollar check. Go down to the post office." And do an overnight express. So I well, need to yes, know I, was, I, I was, was, but then your your associate, uh, uh, Dave Sawyer, Dave Sawyer, he's, no. he, he called and he gave me the the new address at four four five two Main Street West. No, that uh, is a different company. I'm telling you about yeah, that, my yeah, company. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's where he he told me that it had to go. 
So I then called they, then, him then Mr. Ca- Cavalieri, he there was a problem. Or didn't he get COVID or something? That's what, yeah. That's what Dave said. He somebody got COVID. Miss Windsor. Yeah. Listen what I'm asking you. You're not listening to words and what I'm asking you. I yes. asked you yesterday. Did you send off the check to Joseph yesterday? That is what I asked you. No. No, I sent it off to this, uh, L- Lauren. But remember I called you and told you to send out the $1,000 check to Joseph, and I give you the address that is three. You remember? I do. I do. I remember that. But it, but your, your, your colleague called me back. I it did was, call some, you back. It was somebody from your from your office that called me back and got me to change the address. No, no one could never tell you to change any address yesterday. Because I'm the agent. Well, somebody I'm did. Agent, I'm the agent that's assigned to you, so no one else can call you and tell you anything. Well, you're supposed to your... tell them that because they did. Somebody in your office called me. And you just go ahead and just send up a check like that? They said that it was it was okay, that, that, that somebody got COVID and, and we needed to change it in order to be able to get the prize out in time. Ma'am, that may be, be a scam. There's no one can just call you and tell you that there is COVID and you need to change the name. It's me and you. It's I'm the agent that assigned to you. And that is the reason why I call you, give you the name, give you the address. So why do you go and do something else? Because they told me to. They said they were with you, with the, with the, uh, with the sweepstakes. But I gave you my number. I said towards you, make sure you write down my number. And call me. I can tell you that that is not for real, and that is a scam. And they gave me their number and said that I could uh, I could deal with them from now on. I thought I didn't think I was going to hear from you again. Why you think you was going to hear from me? I've been calling you last night. I called you, and the gentleman answered the phone. I did not get towards you last night. Yeah, my nephew was here. I went to sleep early. I I was really. T- tired after all the running around and you're never you never answer the phone i've been calling you now you're telling me well i can tell you this there's a lot of guys going around stealing out a lot of days calling lucky winners telling them that they have received the prize and i can tell you that that is a scam there's nothing for you to get on the agent assigned to you that is the reason why i called you yesterday and tell you the name and the address so Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to verify you with your price package code right now. Whenever someone call you and they can't give you the code, that mean it's a scam. All right. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you. So get a clean piece of paper and a pen. I'm going to give you your price package code. So no one should speak to you if they can't give you the code. All right. What is the code? Mm. Your price package code is A A three one A three one four. All right. So no one should speak to you <clears throat> if they don't have your price package code. You All should right, not so. take calls from people telling you that you should not do what you know you're supposed to do. So you did mail off a check. To the wrong so person. the code is. You know that, right? So the code is eight eight three one eight three one four. No, listen. It's the yeah, four digit eight, eight, code. Eight eight three one eight three one four. No, it's no. the four digit code. It's the four digit code. Eight eight three one. No, digit. It is eight three one four. Eight three one four. All right. So, so no one should speak to you if they can't give you the code okay all right so you said you did go yesterday and mail off a check i can tell you this miss winter there's a lot of guys going around stealing out the data base so you got to be careful okay yeah so what we're gonna do ma'am i have your delivery written down for 10 30 tomorrow morning okay all right so we're going to write out the check now to the right and correct full person. Go and mail it off. Whenever you go and mail it off, tell them that you need the tracking 
number. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. and you should not let anyone call you, tell you about any COVID, telling you about anything. Just go and do what Miss Mary Barbara told you to do. Oh, if I sent that to somebody so you, else, I sent it overnight. If, if they got it, I, I hope they didn't cash it yet. Well, there is no way that you can get it back. There is no way that you can get it back. So all you're going to do now is just well, go and send it over to the, You have a chat book. That is the reason why I told you write a check. Yeah, but the money will be gone. Uh huh? The money's gone. Where the money is gone? Because I said I already sent a check. So, you well, you have more money in the checking account, so you can write another check. I don't have any more money in the account. So where are we going to get the thousand dollars from to write the check? I don't. I don't know. You don't know? I don't. I don't know. I could. But you have to come up with something. I could sell something, maybe. You can do what? And I could sell some things, maybe. Like what you have to sell. <coughs> I have my, my like my oxygen tank and everything. So you don't have a wedding then? I don't have a what? You don't have a wedding then? I, I do have a wedding band as well. Yeah, I could sell that too. Huh? I do. I could sell that. So you know where to go to sell the wedding band? I don't. I don't know where I could sell it at. There might be some sort of uh, consignment establishment in up in Greenville. Are you chopping food for supper or something? Hello. Hello? Are you chopping food for supper? No. It's ice. It's not food. Oh, okay. So, mm. what you said we're going to do now? I don't, I don't know. So, you are telling me that, man, you know, I think that you were just playing games right now because there's no way you could just have $1,000 in your checking account. What do you mean? So, you're telling me that it's only $1,000. You have on your checking account, That's because right? I got—I just got that thousand dollars back. I was cleaned out. Somebody came in and took all of my money, and I, ha oh, I happened that? to get a thousand dollars back. Oh, they took all of your money because they—they—they they, they took it. Oh, do you get robbed? Do you get scammed? Oh, I got scammed. You get scammed? Yes. And how oh, do you get scammed, ma'am? For uh, there was supposed to be Amazon. Amazon. Amazon, yes, and they said oh, they said that that you, that my uh, my account was that some hackers or something were were into it, and that they were using it to make purchases, and then they were going to refund me money back. So they were going to give me <clears throat> money back. Okay, and you want to receive your price, right? I do. Yes, I need I need this money now, and I really don't have anything left to fall back on. It was Not like it was too. like it was like a, a blessing from above when this happened. Like like the Lord was answering my prayers. Yes, because this is here for you over six months now. Hello. Hello. Yes, are you hearing me? Yes. Miss Winter, I need you to be receiving this like right now, today, so you think you can go to the phone shop. The problem is you don't have a phone that you can travel with because I could direct you to the places, I could speak to you on your way. You don't have a phone that you can carry on the road, right? No, no. And I, I don't know how much I'm going to get for a, a little a little old uh, a wedding band. They don't. It's not like they, they buy it by the, the value that it holds in, to myself. <clears throat> they, they buy it for the, the material worth. Do you have a credit card? No, no. Do you have a debit? I have a debit, yeah. There's nothing, it's so, nothing in the account it's attached to. Huh? What did you say? I said there's nothing in the account it's attached to. So you're telling me, Miss Winter, you don't get Social Security every month? I do, yes. I just got it. So, yes, I know that you... So where's your Social Security money? Uh, most of it went towards my uh, my rent, uh, and then 
the rest of the, uh, the, the Amazon people got. <clears throat> All the Amazon people got it. They made it look like... They, they, I, I looked at my, my bank and it, it had uh, 30,000 extra dollars in it. And they, they, was, they, they wanted me to uh, uh, pay them back. They accidentally put the money in. So I gave them the money back and then when I went and uh, looked at my bank the next time, there was, there was nothing in it. There was no, nothing I called my bank and there was no, there was no, uh, nothing saying that nobody put money in it at all. Winter, you get your social security at the 1st of April, right? Yes. That's just, this just happened. I got a and thousand in the back. That, and you were telling me that. You have no money nowhere until May the 1st. You're not going to have any money until May 1st? No. I get I get some money. Huh? I get some money on, on the 16th. On the 15th? On the 16th. So where are you going to get that money from? I get I get uh, $600 on the 16th. And where do you get it and that, from? That's uh, that's that's from uh, the rest of my uh, my pension from working with okay. Chase. Okay. We're, oh, we used to work with the Chase Bank, right? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, so what I can do for you, ma'am? You said you're going to get $600 under 16, right? Yeah, that's for my food. I don't so, have it. I, I won't have any food. So what I'm... No, just take your time and listen to what we're going to do. I'm going to make sure that I come over to your resident, pick you up. We go to the Walmart, leave the price on the briefcase at your home, and we can do the business. So, I'm, all I'm going to do right now, I'm going to make sure that I pay $400 for you. I'm going to lend towards you $400. And on the 15, you just pay the $600. I come and pick you up, and we go to the Walmart, right? All right, yeah. So don't fussy yourself to go and sell your wedding band or sell anything. Don't act up for yourself. That is what we're going to do. All right, okay. But that is why I said to you, ma'am, it's rather we use the card because you see the card, it's easier to just put the money in the company account. It just takes five minutes. With the mail, we have to wait an extra day. So that is the reason why we always like lucky winners use the card because the card only takes five minutes to process in the company account and the checks take like one to two days. Do you understand? Yes, yes. So we're going to work with the card to get it done and over with floss because remember that the six, the $600 that you're getting is for your food. So I want to make sure that the same time you purchase the card is the same time I come and pick you up. Yes, okay. I don't want you to use the mail because the mail is going to take an extra day. So I don't want you to use the mail, okay, ma'am? All right, okay. So that is what we're going to do. And remember, can you please give me back your code? 8831-8314. Uh, Hello? Hello? Yes, can you please give me back your code? 8831-8314. No, it's a four-digit code. Oh, yes, yes, it's sorry, 8831. No, listen, Miss Winter, it is a. Three one four eight eight three fourteen eighty three forty okay eight three one four oh one four repeat it for me ma'am eighty three fourteen exactly no one whenever someone call you and started to talk to you the first thing you're gonna say so can you provide me with my price package code if they don't tell you the eighty three fourteen it is a scam okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so you said you're going to get $600. So how do you get the money? Do you send it over in your mail? Yes, yeah. The cash come in your mail or the well, cash? No, it, it comes, yeah, the, no, it goes into my bank. So how do you get it out of the bank? You go down to the I, bank? I usually don't. I just I go and buy groceries. Every, you do what? I go and buy groceries with it. Yeah, so how do you get it out of the bank? I don't. I go and get, buy groceries with it. You buy groceries down by the bank? No. So how do you get the $600 out of the I bank? Do, I don't get it out of the bank. It, 
I go and buy groceries. So it's on a card? Yeah. Oh, so you know that you should go to the ATM and the 16 and withdraw it. And we're going to purchase the card that takes five minutes instead of the check. Because the check takes a day or two days. And we don't want any delay. So we're going to just use the card, card. right? Card? <clears throat> what kind the of card? card? We're going to use the card. What kind of card? The card that we can just put the money in the company account. Right, what is it? Well, there is many, many cards out there. You know, you can use the green dad, you can use the money pack, you can use the vanilla. There is many cards that you can use. Oh, okay, I, I understand now. Okay. Uh, okay. Where, where, where are you? Where's, where are you located? I am located down in California. Where in California? Nara Ward. Where? Down in California, Nara Ward. California, what? Nara Ward. I can't make out what you're saying. I live in California, but the company is in New York. Hello. Hello. Oh, who's that? The company is in Queens, New York, and I live down in California, New York. California. California, New York. California, New York. Narawar. 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 I live in California, and I work in Queens, New York. So you tra- so you live in California, but you work in New York. Yeah. Where in California do you live? Down in Downey. I live down in Downey. Downey? Yeah. Downey, California. So like by Bell Gardens? Or in Norwalk? Yes, Norwalk. How do you get to work every day? You take the train? Goodness, you must take the train. Yes, I took the train. Like, I work like five days per week. I took the train. Most time I stay over with my co-worker. That's an awfully long, uh... Commute. That must oh. be that must be horrible when the when the uh, there's a lot of traffic. Holy cow! Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you remember all that we're gonna do, right? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Repeat what we're gonna do for me, Miss Winter. <clears throat> uh, we are going to take your information, bring it to. Uh, the FBI, give it to them, give them all of the numbers uh, so they can look into him, uh, give them all of the information you've given me, give it to them. Uh, what else? What else do I have to do? So you said you want to receive, so why are you, you going to give the FBI? You can always give the FBI because there's a, a lot of FBI that we took out a lot of price for, so the FBI know about in the company. Oh, they know about your uh, Jamaican scammers too. They know about them. The there, there's so Jamaica. There's there's FBI agents in Jamaica right now, looking for you guys. What so is in Jamaica? FBI agents are in Jamaica. Where uh, is Jamaica? Where is Jamaica? It's where you live, darling. You don't live in California. You couldn't even pronounce the name of the city. So why do you think I live in... So you waste all my time, right? Yes, yeah. Yes. Ma'am, our company is real and legit. No, it's if not. If you don't want to receive... If you don't want to receive... It's not for real. I, I investigate people like you all the time, okay? I know that you are not a real company. Publishers Clearinghouse does not operate like this. I know that for a fact. How they operate? They show up at your door and they surprise you. It's kind of their thing. You know, they, uh, that's what they, how they got famous by surprising people at their door with a big check. Those weren't, those weren't faked surprises you, you've seen all those years. Well, you didn't see them because you're in Jamaica without TVs, so. But that's how it got famous up here because they surprise everybody. They're not gonna call or even send anything in the mail or emails. They're not gonna send your cheap photoshopped documents which look ridiculous. They're definitely not going to call and tell me to send money through a gift card or a, a, a check uh, through the mail or so a wire or a wire them, transfer. So all of them from yesterday, you were just playing with me, right? Yeah. Yep. So how do you feel about doing that? 
I feel really good because you know what I do? I take it and I show it to other people. And then thousands of people are able to see through your scam. So what do you take and show to other people? What? What did you show to people? How you act. How you commit your crimes. How you try to trick people. All of your, uh, how you operate. I show the, how, so, ma'am, the, the key signs of a scam. So you don't believe that it is a legend company, right? I know it's not a legit company. <laughs> I know for a fact it's not a, not a legit company. And you know what? I wasn't even a legit old woman. Hello? Yes. I wasn't even a what legitimate you, old woman. You wasn't a what? I said I wasn't even a woman. So where is Miss Winter? She's right here. Why are you telling me you, you is a man? Well, because I am a man. This is my fake voice. And this is my real voice. The two of you guys there, no. you want some fucking... You want some fucking gunshot in your ass. <laughs> Come off my phone and go and fuck yourself. Yes, it's Mr. Davenport. Mr. Davenport. Yes. You have company? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I was just calling to ask you if you are aware of Zell. You, you use Zell, right, to pay your bill? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what I will do, I will give you a Zell information so you don't have to go on the road. Oh, okay. You know, you just stay home. You just stay home and you have it transferred to Zell. It, it's a Bank of America. I'm going to give you the number. I'm going to give you the account that number. Okay. It's 917. Okay, is there a name? Yes, it's, okay. and the last name is now. It's a Bank of America. She said you could just type in Bank of America and then uh, you know how to use them. So you just put the number there and you can find her. Oh, okay. Okay, so try to see if you can do it now. I wait on you on the line so you, I can know that what's happened tomorrow morning by 10.30 I can see you. You can see my ugly face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to. I want to make sure I put a sparkling smile on your face. <laughs> so try to do it now and let me know when it goes through. Okay? okay. Just hold on. Okay, I will. Yes, it's Mr. Davenport. Oh yes, yeah. Okay. The transfer completed. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's complete. Okay, I'm gonna call. Just hold on the line for a second. Let me let them check it out. So I can have the document sent to your email right now. Give me your email address, by the way, so I can send you the documents right now. It's, uh, it's willy-nilly frankandbeans at gmail.com. Yeah, come on, sweetheart. I'm getting old. You have to spell it for me. <laughs> W-I-L-L-Y, N-I-L-L-Y, like willy-nilly. F-R-A-N-K-A-N-D-B-E-A-N-S. Willy, Nilly, Frank, and Beans. That, that's B-E-N. B-E-A-N-S. B-E-A-N-S. Okay. Beans at gmail.com? Yes. Okay, okay. So what I will do, I will have your document send to the email address. And I will call you back as soon as that. All on the line. I'm going to call up the office so they can check the account to see that the funds is there. All on the line for a sec. Okay, so you said the transfer, it went through, right? I, I believe so, yeah. yeah. I, okay. sent, I sent it anyway. I don't know. Okay. Does, it have so a, what, does it have a way to, that it confirm? I don't know. Okay. So what I will do now. As I say, as soon as they give me the confirmation, I will send you the document on your email and I will call you back and let you know to check your email. So that's W-I-L-L-Y-N-I-L-L-Y, Frank and Beans at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm going to make sure that I have it sent off to you within the same period of time. It's not going to take long. As soon as I get the confirmation from that office, I will call you and let you know to check your email. Okay? All right. Okay. Oh, my, my bank's calling. All right. Okay. I'll let, I'll let you. You're going you're gonna to call me back? I got yes. another call coming in. That's your bank? Yes, yeah. Okay. Well, let them know.
Hello? Yes, you said that the bank call you? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, and you told them that you're the one who's making the transfer, right? Yes, uh, this, but uh, I, they, they, I didn't do something right. They, they said I, that it didn't, uh, it didn't, I don't know. You didn't do something right? Or there was something, I don't know, wrong with, there was something wrong somewhere. Oh. I, I think okay. I have to try to do it again. Okay, okay. But... Once you're making a transfer, your bank is going to call you because, remember, you don't have any cell phone to receive any messages, right? So they will call you to verify if you're the one who's making the transfer. Yes. So yeah. you just have to let them know that, yes, you're trying to take care of some bills, okay? Mm, all right. Yes, because you know for sure if, if it's going to be some... Once your transaction is going through, they will call you to finalize if it should go through. Because you know most persons are using person's information to move their money and all that crap. That's the reason why I told you we don't take personal information. Okay? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> try to do it over and see what's happened and let me know. All right. Okay. 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 But you found what's the problem, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. okay. Goodness, those are some big crickets that I hear in the background. Yeah, yeah, it yeah because like crickets. I'm on the Is road. I'm on the road. I'm on the road. I have to pull over to talk with you. Uh -huh. Yes, I have to pull over to talk with you. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, but try to do it, and you call me and let me know. I'm on the road. I'm heading home. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Now. <laughs> Hold on, let yes. me turn it down. Oh, I like it, though. You can hear me. You uh, like it? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, yes. <laughs> you like this one? Oh, yes. Oh, my. Well, maybe when I get there, we can dance to it, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so nice. I love it. So, normally when I get him, that's what I do, you know? Did, did, did you try to be having it? Transfer again? My, I don't, I don't know why my, uh, my, my Zelle thing is not available anymore. Pardon? Pardon? My Zelle isn't available anymore. I'm hearing you. You can hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. My Zelle doesn't work anymore. Okay, no problem. What I will do, I will give you a name and address in the morning so you can put it in the mail. You don't have to be in any hustle. Okay? All right. Yes, I'll let you do that tomorrow morning. All right, okay. I don't know why okay, they so, did that. Well, I, that's the bank. That's the way the banks work. Yeah. They're very, you know, they're strict. But I try to do, give you what time in the morning you normally wake up. I, I usually uh, pretty early, maybe like 8 o'clock or something. Okay, but you, call me, call me when you wake up, okay? Okay, all right. I can do that. Okay, enjoy the rest of your night. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> All right, okay. You as well. Okay, sweetheart. I talk to you in the morning. Bye bye. Right, bye now. Bye bye. Go to. So what, what's what's the name? And and who is she? Yeah, she's a merchant banker. She's, she's the a, same person you were. She's a merchant banker. She was, so she works for you yeah, guys. She's, yeah, she oh, okay. she she she's the one who you were going to make the transfer to yesterday. Okay. So I, I don't understand. Why is she getting the money? And what does she do? Yeah, with it? she's gonna. Okay, whenever she receive the this check, she will give us the, the go ahead to make her delivery within the twenty four hours. Oh, okay. It's a, it's the same process. It's just because I don't want for it to be back and forth on the road. Right, but she does she like do all of the the accounting and the taxes and everything? Or yeah, something? yeah, yeah. She's a she's an accountant. She's at the accountant department. Okay. And, and, uh, the the street number is nine. Oh, okay. Repeat it for me. Repeat the address. So you have nine three 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 F. What is As three in F? Three, it, it's because it's office. It's more than one office. So you have three F. You have two F. You have one F. So this one is the accountant department. Is three F. Okay. okay. So that's that's what you have, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you say the mailman is gonna pass early, so you have to write it out and put it in the mail. So whenever he or she comes, it can be picked up. Okay. Yeah, and you know it's gonna take like two to three days to get there. Yes. So we we try to do this within a process 
which let me know whenever the mailman passed so I can send you your copy of your document, okay? Okay. Just let me know whenever he comes and pick up the mail. And you can call me, maybe you would have to call me at my personal number at the 32, not 3, it's 72. Five. I think it's seven two five. The number that I gave you with triple threes. Triple threes. You have that number, right? Seven two five triple three three eight nine seven. You have that number, right? No, seven two five triple. Yes. What? Three eight nine seven. Okay. Okay. But call me and let me know whenever you have it in the mail. Okay. Fair you right. say it's gonna pass early, so try to write out the check now. And try to put it in the mail so whenever they come, they, it's in there. Right, okay? Sir. And call me and let me know whenever they pass. Okay. All right. Did you, did you have coffee already? I'm just about to make one right now. <laughs> uh, it's just sitting, okay, sitting, uh, okay. My carafe is sitting on the, uh, uh, just on the, on the stove. <laughs> and then he, you called, so okay. I came to the phone. Okay, sweetheart. Well, enjoy your coffee. I'll okay. talk with you soon. All right. Bye now. Okay, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Yes, hello? Yes, yes, good afternoon. You're okay? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, it's Mr. Davenport. I'm just calling to send the document right now, but hold the line. The merchant banker is on the line. She want to ask you a few questions, okay? All right, okay. And then this is a... All right. She's the merchant banker. Yes, okay. hold on a second. Hello, good morning. H- hello? Good morning, ma'am. This is Mr. Miss. How are you doing today? Are you okay? This is who? Okay, I can hear you. Yes, I'm just getting another call. Okay. I don't. It's good. I don't. Okay. Well, what I want to know, is you you have sent off the registration fee, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, it should be getting to you uh, in a day okay, or okay. two. Okay. Okay. That is okay. Because due to the fact I am not supposed to have these documents sent to you until it is the registration fee arrives to me, but I'm going to have these documents processed over to you because you seem trustworthy, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to have it, I'm going to have it send off as I'm speaking to you and let you know when I have it send off so you can go and have a check, okay? All right, okay. Okay, let me, let me also verify your email also, okay? All right, yeah. Okay, your email is willynilly frankonbean. Yes. At gmail.com? Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm actually typing it. I'm actually sending the email as we speak, okay? All right. Okay, ma'am. You can go ahead and check your email and let me know if you saw oh. the email, okay? All right. Okay, Mega Millions official ruling document. $2,500,000. Okay, you, you, you received it, right? <laughs> yes, I received it. Okay, I'm going to stay on the line and anything that you do not know, I'll answer it for you, okay? That what? I said I'm going to stay on the line and guide you through it, so any question you can ask me if you don't understand anything that you see on it, okay? Right. All right, I've, I've reviewed all of it. I didn't hear you. I reviewed the document. Okay, you're you're reading it. I, I've done reading it. I'm all done. Okay, and you understand every everything that is on it, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 I understand. Well, what I see is that it's a. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah. What I see is that it's a big old crock of shit. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. I said it's a big old crock of shit. I'm not paying no nine thousand five hundred dollars. I, I I didn't hear you. I said it's a big old crock of shit. You understand? You understand that? Who the hell what, do you what, think you are coming, a, trying to scam me for uh, almost uh, $10,000? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You ignorant no son of a bitch. You ignorant illegal. son of a bitch. No, it's not. Why, 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 are, why are you being disrespectful? Uh, because you're a little bitch. Now I know where you live. Now yeah. I'm going to come and get my three hundred, uh, four hundred dollars too. This I'll drive. I'll drive up there for that. I'll drive there for that. No, it isn't. You have, no, it you isn't. Have no need after to be looking, after looking at all of these documents you sent me, I'm. I, now I'm sure that it's. This is bullshit. This is a whole bunch of bullshit. All of these documents are fake and I'm, horrible. I'm going to have your call transferred to Mr. Davenport. No, no, you can just, you can transfer it to uh, the president because I'm going to be complaining about you. Pardon? I didn't hear you, ma'am. What's the problem? I said transfer me to the damn president. What happened? What's the problem? You're a little son of a bitch. That's what I'm realizing now. Insurance. What happened? Insurance and fitness. You're a little son of a bitch, aren't you? No, no, no. You're a little son of a bitch. Listen, 
that doesn't have to pay until you receive the money. What you're talking about, you're not going to make another payment until you receive your money. No, no, I'm going up. I'm going to intercept that money. I'll, I'll drive all the way up there and see. I believe in the Second Amendment, little dipshit. What do you want, dipshit? Yes, why is it your... No, I'm saying you don't have to pay that until you receive the prize. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I'm going to go up and I'm going to intercept that money. I'm going to get my $400 back is what... I know you gave Come me on. the address. I'll go, I'll go up there with the police. No, listen, ma'am. Listen what's going to happen. Because you're getting this misunderstanding, okay? Misun misunderstanding? You can't even speak damn English. Oh, my God. I can't believe I fell for your bullshit. I can't believe I fell for that. Who's sending me these no, documents? What the <laughs> hell are these? these are, this is so fake. It's funny. Did, it's listen, hilarious. It's listen. so fake. What is all of this? Listen, oh, look at all of this. Look at all of this. You can't even get your alignment properly. You have... Uh, uh, stamps that are uh, cut off. What the hell is... You guys are amateurs. What are you talking about? You guys are amateurs. No, listen, You're amateurs. Listen, you I, I used about? to work for the bank, okay? And I've seen people do forgeries. They know how to do it. You don't know how to do shit. You are amateurs. What, what do you want, want you, amateur? Come what do you on. want? No, no, listen, listen to me, ma'am. This is John. This is Mr. Davenport. You need to get some Photoshop okay. skills. Wait, you're in, you're insulting, okay? This is insulting to my intelligence. Really, it's insulting to my intelligence. What's the problem? I am, I am, I am yeah. mad at, look, look at the, the, the signature is all blurry. Like, what is this? You guys are idiots What over happened? There. What you guys are, you guys you? are dumb. You know that? You guys are dumb amateurs. Dumb, dumb amateurs. You can't even, you don't even know how to use Photoshop. Trying to get me to pay no, $9,500 for insurance and fitness. Insurance no, and I fitness. You're not going to pay that up front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. You're, that's, you're not going to pay anything else, ma'am. What are you talking about? Why is it you so aggravated? Calm down. Yeah, because I realized that I, I sent $400 uh, to a scam. No, no, <laughs> ma'am. Don't think that way. Oh, I'm, yes, I did. That way. Oh, I guess I did. No, no. Didn't win Your no prize is millions. here. Your prize is here, ma'am. No, it's not. Here. Come on. You Give are an amateur. So no, you're, an, you're you're you are a bloody amateur. To even talk to you anymore no. uh, is just insulting my own self because you are so bloody low level uh, of a scammer. You are obviously a poor, poor individual. Where are you at? Where where are you located? Ma'am. Jamaica. Oh, chance. Jamaica. Okay, there. Jamaica. Huh? Just give me a chance. So I no, I'm not giving your little Rasta boy a chance. What are you talking about? I don't think so. What are you talking about? What are Why you talking you're so about? Aggravated? Because you, you think that you're going to bloody well scam me? Look at this. One of the, the logos just overlapping the, the, uh, the border there. Yep, that, yep, that's very professional. Every single page that you have on here is, there's blatant, uh, amateur mistakes and and just it's just so fake that I, I can't I, I can't even comprehend how somebody how you have ever made any money off of this and you know what I know that you have I know for a fact you have don't worry ma'am I'm telling you this is real and I can prove it to you there is no need for you to be this aggravated yeah well I'm going up to see uh up in Brooklyn I'm going up to see her so I'll get there before the mail does. I'll sit outside her house. I don't care. I have nothing else to do. You want to play with me? Yes, hello? Yes, it's Mr. Davenport. Oh, okay. I don't want... I know you're a bit aggravated, but you need to calm down. Please, sweetheart. I need to talk with you to make sure that I can make this better. Okay, I'm not sure of what the document they had sent to you, but I can work this out, which you can see, prove ahead of time. I'm telling you, just give me one chance and you will see that you're going to be satisfied and happy. I don't know who produced those, uh, that Melvina uh, woman, but uh, if you can produce something like that's actually legitimate, I don't know what, what, the, what those were, but... Yeah, uh, I know, I know, I know. You say what I'm going to do, because what happened, it should be the publishers and clearance house documents you receive. Was those documents you received? 
No, it said Mega Millions. No, no, you got the wrong document. I, I'm not sure. Maybe there is someone with your name or something, but I'm not sure if it's those documents you should receive. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have your real documents sent to you. Don't worry. You should be having some publishers and clearance house documents. Hold on. Let me send you these documents, okay? All right. Please don't be mad at me, sweetheart. Just cheer up yourself. This is real. And it's going to happen, which you're going to be satisfied. Please, just give me a chance, okay? I call right. you back when I have them sent to you. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Right. Bye. Oh, that's not from my, uh, my computer because the background is not white. I'm telling you. That's not from me. Wait. That's not from me. But hold on just a second. Let me figure this out, and I call you back. I'm telling you, you're receiving the wrong stuff. Right. This is not from me. I'm telling you. Let me call you back. Just give me a minute. Let All me right. call you back, okay? All right. Okay. Bye -bye. Hello? Hello? Yes, give me the email where it came from. You said Macintosh? I don't... It was, it was something Macintosh something. Rob10 at Yahoo. Okay. Okay. So you see, it's not my email. It's not... Okay. It's not Hold yours. on a second. Those guys... Those guys are some black persons. I don't know them. Hold on a second. Let me take the email. Hey, I'm getting another call here. Just a sec. Hello? 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 Yes, give me the email where it came from. I don't, I don't know exactly. I'm not in front of it. Oh, oh, okay. Because I wanted to make sure, okay? That's the reason why I was saying, you said it came, you, you're you not sure where it, where it came from, right? But that's, you're that's sure not it's not coming email? from my... Because it, it no, said, it said Publishers Clearing House. No, no, that's not my email. That's not my email. Uh, uh. My email is, I'm going to tell you my email. Hello? Yes, give me the email where it came from. Uh, I don't, I don't. Why, who is this? I keep, somebody keeps calling me. Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, this is David Peterson. How are you doing? David Peterson, yes, hello. Yes, I work with the delivery team. How are you? Uh, did you receive a call about us delivering some money to you? Uh, to, uh, okay, to, sure. to that's who? W -I, that's Miss Lana Winter. That's W-I-N-T-E-R. Yes, it is, yeah. Right, you're receiving a $2.5 million certified check. Uh, yes. Right, ma'am. So we're interested in having this resoluted today. Because we received the confirmation that you took care of all the necessary payments that was requested to yeah. have this resoluted. All right, yeah. All right. So our job, just a second here. Just hold on a second here, Lon. Are you hearing me now? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. All right. So uh, before I could go ahead and have the delivery team authorized to move out, I just need to ask a few questions uh, to make sure that you have all the necessary payment slips and all the necessary things that you'd need to have to have this resoluted today, okay? Yes, sir. Right. Uh, so, uh, the agent that you were dealing with before, Mr. Davenport, what, what's their deal why they haven't made your deliver? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, let me see. Hello? Hey, hey Elmer, Sandra. it's Josh here from Synergy. How are you doing? It's who? It's Josh Hansen from Synergy Finance. Synergy Finance? Yes, Elmer, I, we spoke to... Yesterday, like we had a conversation. No, no, I think you got the wrong number. It's not a wrong number. Am I speaking with Elmo? No, this is Lana. Elma Fisher? No, my name well, is Lana. Lana. Yeah. Okay. So you're Lana Fisher? No, Lana Winter. What? Who's, who's, Miss, who's Elma Fisher? Isn't it a business? I don't, I don't, uh, you got the wrong number. Sorry, sir. All right, no problem. All right. Hello? Uh, hello? Sorry about that. All right, that's okay. So, with what you've won here, we're interested in having it delivered to you, okay? Uh -huh. Well, uh, we want to make sure, did you take care of a P-14 stamp? Did the agent that you were talking to have you take care of a P-14 stamp? I, I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, what did he have you take care of? I don't know. I paid $385, so I'm all paid up. Okay, you pay you pay that three hundred and eighty five this morning, right? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So basically the agent told you that once you paid the three hundred and eighty five everything would be cleared up, right? Yes, yeah. 
Okay. Well, this is going to actually happen for sure because you indeed won this cash award. Okay. Have you ever won the sweet six before? No. No. Okay. Okay, have you, won, have, have you ever won anything before in your entire life? I've won some scratch tickets, yeah. Well, with the sweet six, it's a little different than scratch ticket or anything of that sort. <coughs> okay? All right. All right. I want to give you a full details on everything, but I'm waiting on, I'm waiting to hear back from the FTC so that I could go ahead and tell you what time we will actually get there. To make your presentation, okay? Mm, okay. Right, so as soon as I hear back from the FTC, <coughs> I'll give you a call right away. <coughs> I'm not hearing you. I don't know what the purpose of the, the, the call is. What, what are you calling for? No, I'm just checking to see if you're okay. Why would you do that? Remember, ma'am, this is Mr. Davenport. Remember, I, I tried to call you yesterday. I was talking with you yesterday. Yes, yeah. I'm just checking to see Why if you're you okay and back? all that. So you don't want me to call you? No. Why, why would I want you to call me? Come on, sweetheart. Just give me opportunity. Give why? me the chance. Why would I... I don't want... Remember... <clears throat> Remember, remember, ma'am, you're mixing me with those persons that send you those pictures. And I'm yeah. telling you, it's not me. You yeah. said if I explain that picture to you, you will believe that I'm not the one. And I'm telling you, ma'am, why would I send you a picture? Well, why I, I, would I send you a picture of myself? I'm not a black person. Yes, you are. So why would I send you a picture? Yes, you are. Why would you, why would you, uh, why would you deny that of yourself? Does that feel good to to deny your race? Does that feel I'm good? Seriously, you, ma'am. seriously, no, no, no. Just um, for a second, do you, I'm not stupid. Do you, do you think that being black is more scary to to me or something? You no, have to say that no, you're not black. Not, that, that's real. That's black, that's actually kind of insulting to, to me. It's actually kind of insulting to me. Do you consider? Do you think that I'm racist? No, no, no. Then why, then I'm why not would you? Even, why would you, first? First of all, why would you uh, deny that you're uh, uh, that that you're black? Why would you deny that? Because I'm not black. Yes, you are. You think I can? T- I can one hundred percent tell that you're black. So you think I would just take my picture and send it to you? Randomly? No, but maybe somebody else in the office there did. No, no way. That's not my picture, sweetheart. I'm telling you, that's not me. Well, maybe it's not you, but you're still black. Goodness. But I'm telling well, you, Why would ma'am. you? I I'm don't... telling you. No, you're just a horrible person. That's all you are. Come on, sweetheart. You're a horrible you person. You think everyone is the same person. thing? Everyone is not the same thing, okay? No, but every one of you are. Just give me a chance. And I will let, let you see for real that this is true. Because I know you're a bit skeptic of all what's happened. So wh- why, as I send you, I try to send you an email, that picture comes on your phone. That's what I want to know. That's the reason why I called you back. Because I really want to know, why is it as soon as I try to send you something, all of that pops up on your computer? Did you see the date? That it came? It was the same date, yes. So you see what I'm saying? How comes as I try to send you something that comes on your computer? And that not from my computer. I'm sure that's not coming from my laptop. So I need to know, ma'am, just give me a chance and stop behaving this way. You're a big lady. I'm a big man. Just give me a chance so we can make this true. You know for sure every time you try to do something, there will be obstacles all the way to try to stop you. Come on, ma'am. This is a blessing. You think God would let you try to be picking up the phone? Don't you bring you know God into sure it, you little piece of shit. Just give me a chance. Don't you bring That's God into I it, you piece of shit. Don't be Just even saying that name. Chance. You're a piece of shit. You know that? You're a piece of dog shit on the bottom of my shoe. You're not even worth the Just stick that me. I rub it off with. Just, Just give me a chance. That's all I want. No. You don't need no. to be no. you don't need to be Stop this aggravated me. because Stop I'm telling, telling you the honest truth. I'm not the person that you see. Do I need to have picture. to call the police on you? No. Because I will. No. You don't need to do that. Mrs. Winter, I want to make this up to you. Just give me the chance. I'm mm. begging you one chance and I will let this up to you.
Oh, good morning. May I speak to Lana Winter? Uh, this is Lana, yes. Good morning. My name is Zula Halatay. How are you doing this morning? I'm not doing too bad. How are you? I'm doing pretty fine myself. Now, what I need to know, did you receive my pictures that I sent you in your email? Oh, what was that? Yeah, I was the one who sent you those pictures. Did you receive it? Yes, yeah. Why would you send those to me? No, it was a mistake. I was actually trying to send it to another person, but it ended up going to your email because I did have some paperwork that I was supposed to send over to you, and the picture actually went to the wrong person, so I do apologize, okay? Oh, all right. Now, you are fully aware of the cash award that you are supposed to be receiving, right? Thanks for the apology. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Okay, okay. Many may wonder how people get so wrapped up with scammers for so long. Truth is, they have an extensive network of supporting characters whose sole purpose is to reel the victim back in. After everything I said to Mary, and then to Davenport, this group still sends Mr. Button to convince me of some more of their legitimacy. These scammers seem to adapt to many situations, especially ones that the person loses trust. We've seen this before ourselves, scammers calling as fraud investigators and convincing them to open bank accounts to launder more money. So, even if a person figures things out, they are not any less targeted by the scammers. Is this Mrs. Winner? Uh, yes, it is, yes. Yes, ma'am. You're speaking with a private investigator with the Federal Reserve Bank. A uh, pleasant morning to you, ma'am. Uh, well, good morning, yes. Right, ma'am. As we notice here, ma'am, that you've been getting a lot of calls about being winner of a Sweet Six Cash Award. Am I correct? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, uh, when was it that you received the first call about this, ma'am? Um, it was probably uh, uh, sometime mid-March or so. Okay, you received a call in March and related to this. Yes, and, yes, uh, I talked to a, a, quite a few people. Some people were, uh, oh my goodness, they were so rude. Like, and then, then okay. others, on, and, and some uh, tried to take money, and then some did take money. And then, oh my goodness, I just, uh, okay, so you I'm have, at my rope's end to... here, I, I don't so know what to do with the rope. Okay, so you have liquidated money to these persons. Yes, yes, I have. Okay, and uh, you haven't received any form of documents or such related to the cash award? Uh, well, yes, but they they were obviously fake. Like they, they it was it was just it wasn't okay. it wasn't they weren't real people or real anything. How was how was those documents transferred to you? Uh, through my email. Okay, well, once it was transferred through email, those were not legal documents. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, did you have a lawyer verify any of the documents that was sent to you? Uh, no, no. Okay, who gave you a second opinion on them? Well, I, I didn't really get a second opinion except for when I talked uh, with my bank. And they they, uh, okay. sh they shut down my my zeely uh, things because and they told me that uh, that none of it was real and that's what around when I started uh, realizing that 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 it wasn't real. Okay, because we've been contacted by the FTC, we so could launch an investigation on what's going on because we have work cards at the federal bank where you won the Australian Sweet Six for $2.5 million. But we are trying to figure out how your information got out to those telemarketers or lottery scammers in order for them to contact you related to or towards you winning a large sum of money. Oh, well, it so, was, there was a guy named Nathan. There was a guy named uh, uh, um, uh, Frank. Oh, goodness, uh, uh, Mr. Biggs, uh, uh, John Biggs, uh, Reverend John Biggs. Uh, there was uh, 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 Mr. Burke um, and Mr. Mobley. He's, he apparently worked with uh, the FTC, I think. I think he said he worked with the FTC. All right, Mr. Mobley, you uh, said? Yes, yeah. Okay. And I don't think any of them were, were legitimate. Okay. And uh, do you have a total of how much you liquidated to this person? 
Uh, well, I'm not sure exactly who. Uh, it was so confusing. I was getting addresses and uh, bank account uh, numbers and everything. And uh, when everything, uh, when all the dust settled, I was out about um, about thirty five thousand. Okay, so you have liquidated over thirty five thousand to these persons. Yes, yeah. Okay. Man. Well, as I stated before, the Federal Reserve Bank and the FTC is launching an investigation into the cash award, and they're also trying to get in contact with the organization that was assigned to help you with this particular delivery. There was uh, Mr. Davenport. And uh, Davenport, Mr. yes, yes, I remember that name too. Right, and uh, Mr. Peterson uh, that works with Lloyd's Lawyer's Firm and also with the Mega Millions, they were supposed to assist you in receiving the cash award. Oh, no, uh, they, no, Mr. Davenport was working with the scammers. Mr. Davenport was working with yes, the scammers. Yes, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he was, he must be the one that's given the information. Well, because, uh, because, because we, he, was, he was on the line with the scammers, with other people that did take my money. I understand. Well, with the, with the, with the, with the, complaint that we have here from Mr. Davenport is that when he contacted you, basically you told him that you had sent $500 in the mail and he tried to go ahead and get your money back. So basically he said that, well, you weren't complying with him. So that's the reason why he was filing the complaint. Yeah, no, no, I, no, no. He's, he's covering up for something because he was definitely involved. He was involved with 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 one of the other scammers that were on the. They were b somehow oh, both on the line at the same time. They must have called me together or something, yeah, because well, they were both they on the line with, together. Once they were on the phone together, that means that they were on a conference call. That means that they called you together. Yes. But there, if you have any phone numbers, that would be helpful. That would be wonderful. Because, as I said, I'm an investigator, and I'm kind of looking into this case. And this seems like it needs to be taken really seriously. Because once you have sent money to these persons, and you haven't received anything in regards to what they stated, that means that they have done identity thefts, and they have done fraud. Yeah, sir. Did you provide these guys with any personal information, such as a credit card, social security, or any form of information that could be used to hurt you? I don't think so, no. Maybe my... Oh, I think I might have given them my social security number. Okay, well, you need to give your bank and also your credit card company an update that your social security number might be loose. So any transfers that are happening, needs to be con they need to contact you before doing it. Because I've seen this before. I've seen where these guys come in and they take your information and they could ruin your entire life by taking out loans, buying yeah. gifts, and all of those stuff. Okay? All right. Okay. All right. So it's important to notice the bank that, well, basically while dealing with those telemarketers, you had given out your information. So you want to make sure that they're noticed that if there's any transfers leaving your accounts or investments or credit cards, they notify you for confirmation. So that, there's no way that I can get my money back, is there? Yes, there is a way where you can get your money back. And that's the reason why I'm saying that I need the contact number for the organization that stated that they contacted you so we could see if we could reach those persons and find out. I don't know. What's the... Okay, you don't have any numbers for anyone? Um, I had a... Uh, uh, it's 562-298-4660. One number. There were so many numbers that they called from. I don't know which number is which. I see, I see. So it was really confusing for you. Yes, and then the, yeah, there's yeah. 385-628-4463. Okay. And then seven two five three 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 eight nine seven. I think that's that's one of the main ones. I remember the three three three. Seven two five three 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 eight nine seven. 
Okay, and do you still have the account information that they had you do deposits to? No, no, I, I threw that stuff away because I, I didn't want to want that stuff to be uh, confusing me anymore. Okay, and did you have uh, any of the mailing addresses? You already showed those away also. Yeah, I know. I threw it all, all away. Okay. I had it on some uh, pieces of paper in my notebook. I just ripped the pages out and I threw them away. Okay, I understand. And sometimes okay, I, sometimes if my blood sugar gets low, I, I, I can... I'll look at something and I don't quite remember what uh, what exactly uh, it was all about. So I get hey, I just get a little bit confused sometimes when my sh blood sugar is low. I'm I'm a diabetic, you see, so I I need to keep uh, maintain my blood sugar levels. And when it gets low, I I tend to uh, be forgetful and just a little confused on some things. So I I try to keep uh, limit things like that. Uh, especially uh, stuff like that because I that was a whole oh my goodness I know what I was you just mean so confused the whole time and everybody's just being so uh, aggressive and uh, uh, rude and mean oh my goodness telling me that they were they were threatening my lives uh, one of them was threatening my life He's saying that right. he was going to come and kill me if I didn't uh, make the uh, make the transfer Why would he do? I these don't guys know. Are, I don't know. These guys, let me tell you something from a professional basis. I've been an investigator for this last month, made it 42 years. And throughout my 42 years of being an investigator, I could tell you one thing. Once someone finds out that you want something, they will go through any measures in getting it some of it or getting all of it so that's one of the reasons why the company want to find wants to find out which of the agents is working with those persons well, i'm because telling you i think mr davenport is one of them because he certainly right. he was that it just all adds up now it would come to think of it thinking back and right. he was he was the uh, the uh, from the start he was the the main uh, player and uh, instigator of everything, really. I it's like he, it's like, and he, it, I don't think it's him that that actually got any money from me. That I didn't, I didn't send him any. It was the people that were on the, on the phone with me, with him, with him, and and oh my god, I'm such a fool. I am such no, a I fool. No, I wouldn't say. I am a I fool. Wouldn't say that. Uh, they, I, I wouldn't they say that. They they played me. They played me like a like I like I was a, I a a game or something. Listen to me. Listen. He to he me. made he made it all sound like, like like he was the he would uh, say things that made me think, oh he he that he isn't real. So he was giving what? credit to the uh, to the actual scammers, uh, kind of, just sneakily. He was very sneaky about it. He made me think that it made me think that I came up with the idea that that he was that he was uh, the scammer and that I had to trust the other people when I sh I'd, I shouldn't have trusted either of them. Oh my God. They were working together from the start. I know it. Okay. I see. You need to look into him. Okay. Well, it was really nice having your up hearing your opinion. And I was supposed to state at the beginning of this conversation that this would be re this was being recorded, and uh, I did not. So I'm sorry yeah. for the inconvenience. But this okay. is recorded. This is, conversation is being recorded so that we could monitor and match. Well, I didn't. The I didn't really agree that, to that. Uh, I, I understand, but uh, at the end of the day, the reason for the recording is so that once we talk to the other parties that were involved, because we have. Well, you, you, know, you know that I could sue you for that. You can't record me. I do. That's that's why that's that. wiretapping. That's no, illegal. I know, that. I know that's illegal, and that's the reason why I said I was supposed yeah, to. Yeah, well, that you, you're not. You know, you exactly. You're supposed to say it at the beginning, not at the end. You didn't right. give me a chance to uh, to say I don't agree to that. I understand. I understand. But if you want me to get rid of the recording right now, I could also I do. do that. Yes, but I do. I, I don't want that, that my recording. Uh, me. No. Okay. That makes me look okay. like a, a fool. 
I don't like that. No. I don't like I wouldn't recordings say, of me I that, that make me look like a fool. Well, I wouldn't say it would make you look like a fool because what I'm trying to do here is not only let you get your money back, but also let you got, get what you want. So basically, I'm not trying to take you for a game. Okay, I'm just here to try to see how I could resolve the situation. But as I was saying, we have four of these persons in, in custody because you have other persons such as yourself that has won and they haven't received their cash award. Okay, so basically, we're trying to figure out why how these persons got the information so we're now talking to all the persons that got scammed out of are their you, money. are you working with uh, uh, agent mitchell no i'm working with the federal reserve bank i haven't contacted the, uh, the, any. the fbi are looking into this as well exactly the fbi is on board okay but would what would what, what happened most of the transfers that was mailed to these current addresses that they gave weren't legal businesses so we were able to charge them for for identity theft and we were able to charge them for money laundering yeah, um, uh, agent doing... mitchell had told me a couple of days ago that uh, that uh, some of the people that i had uh, i was supposed to send money to that they were uh, they, they picked them up and that they were uh, uh, putting charges on them exactly okay but so they're but true. they're not the they're not the actual scammers. They said they said they're not the scammers. That the scammers are somewhere else. Okay. Okay. So that's one of the reasons why, I'm, as I told you before, we're in collaboration with them to ensure that well things works out, and to ensure that not only do you get what you want, but you also get your money back. Okay. Yeah. So. This is not one of these situations where I'm calling to get any information or anything like that. I've been hired by the bank to make sure that this is resolved. So I'll keep you up to date on how everything is going. And as I said, we have four of these guys in custody. Okay. And you actually named out three of those guys that we have. And we're going to bring Mr. Devonport in for questions this afternoon. So I'll keep you up to date on how things are going. Right. Okay. And what, what was your name again? Sorry. My name is David Bunting. David. Uh, how do you spell your last name? B U N. Yeah. T O N. Okay. All right. And this is your number eight three one. Three one eight 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 four nine nine. Okay, so I look forward in uh, talking back with you pretty soon, as soon as we question Mr. Davenport. And uh, if there's any questions that we need to ask you, we'll contact you. All right, okay. Okay, All nice right. talking with you again. Uh, okay, bye now. Bye. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello. Yes, Mrs. Witter, this is the... Uh, investigator that called you last week remember talking with me uh, yes yes I do yes right uh, first of all I want to say happy Easter Monday to you <laughs> thank you yes. you, you, you as well okay okay so we had uh, got in a couple of those guys in custody and we had uh, taken away a couple of their assets so we wanted to find out if you wanted to receive a refund of the money that you sent in or if you wanted uh, the company to, say, proceed with getting your, your cash award. Because doing all the checks and everything, that's, it's at your grasp where you could receive back oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I would like to get the, a refund from, uh, from the, the scammers that I was uh, dealing with, uh, definitely. Oh, okay. So what I'll do is that I'll I'll talk with the manager for the uh, Mega Millions Suite Six, and uh, I will have give me details on how long it would take for you to receive. Okay. 
to what? Sorry, you're breaking up here. Is this any better? It's just a line. Like it, 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 it sounded. You're sounding like a robot almost. <laughs> okay, a, sorry yeah, about it's, that. It's it's better right uh, now. So probably it's the reception. Is is this a cell phone that you're using? Uh, no, no, it's a it's a landline. So I think it might be on your end, but probably it's on my end. But as I was saying, okay. The I'm gonna talk with the manager for the FTC and also for the accounting firm, so that they could go ahead and yeah. give me a date on when they will actually get a refund of what you've sent them. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. And then, so and as then, soon and then as after, I have some more information, all of that, I'll then, give then you a I, call uh, and uh, I'll give you more details. Okay. All right. Uh, after that, then we, I can deal with maybe the. Uh, or whatever with the the mega millions is it right but as i said before let me just get some more details about everything and then well basically we could go from there okay all right okay all right. okay so i'll contact when i have some more information well, okay ha have yourself well, a wonderful day is that going to be like this week or well maybe i could maybe before the end of the day because last week i had Send in all the requests, and I uh, should be getting some response by fact, by fact, uh, fax, and also by email. Right. So you will never know. Hopefully, right. it's today. All right. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, David. Okay. Bye. All right, bye. Yes. Morning. Is this uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Bunton? Right, David Bunton. Yes, uh, David. Right. How are you doing? This is Miss Winters. Yes, Miss Winters. How are you doing? I'm not uh, doing too bad. Um, okay. Uh, I, I was I was told by the the, uh, the agent there that uh, um, that uh, that there's no way that I can get my my money back. Who told you that? Uh, agent uh, Mitchell. Okay, well, Mr. Mitchell hasn't been noticed that we can't, we got the guys. When did he? When did you talk with him this morning? Just, uh, just last night. Uh, he was the one that called you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, personally, okay, you're gonna get your money back because I've already talked with the bank yesterday, and I noticed them that well, basically, you want to receive your money back before you go about dealing with the mega millions in order to receive the next money. So they said that they would contact me today and let me know where a certified check would be put in the mail out to you. Oh, so, right. right, because basically, ma'am, this is something that you've legally won. And if the guys weren't located here in the United States, then we could not have gotten back the money. Okay, but these persons that took your money was persons that are actually located here, and they were trying to, well, basically you off because they know that you won a lot of money. Yeah, but, but this this all kind of uh, contradicts what, uh, what uh, Agent uh, Mitchell was, was saying. Well, it contradicts because Mr. Mitchell does not work with the Federal Reserve Bank. Oh. Okay, Mr. Mr. Mitchell works for your state. <clears throat> Wasn't you that contacted Mr. Mitchell to work on? It, well, he he contacted me because uh, the bank contacted them. Okay, the bank contacted him, and that's what I'm saying. That Mr. Mitchell works in your state. I work in Washington D.C. Federal Reserve Bank. So we're at the headquarters where all the information has to be processed on all transfers. So we were able to stop the transfers that you made, and we were able to stop the checks with the cash and the money art money packs and such that you bought. We were not able to stop those, but we were to chase them to a location where we were able to pick someone up, and we seized assets. So we're going to have them sold and do a refund of your money. Okay. All right. So 
Mr. Mitchell hasn't been noticed about this because of the fact where this was stated as a confidential business deal on most of the documents because these guys actually tried to claim the cash award. I looked into Mr. Davenport a bit further and I see where there was a Susan Turner that was in stating that she had your power of attorney and stating that you were in the hospital so she wanted to claim it for you. So I chased that Susan uh, Turner down she told me that she got the information from Alex Delbert and also John Carter. Okay. So, right, so Mr. Davenport was brought in and Susan stated that she will uh, testify against him in court. So he should be getting up to 15 to 18 years in prison. Oh, goodness, all right. So, with everything that's currently transacting right now, it's basically just to get you your money back so that you could have a state of mind and then you could decide if you do want to claim the Mega Millions. Because the reason why, the reason why your state hasn't been notified about the delivery or you being a winner is because of the fact where your cash award, it's it's coming from Australia. So it has to be claimed. It had to be claimed by the Federal Reserve Bank. Yeah. Okay. So basically, they have to, the Federal Reserve Bank, transfer legal documents, take governor's office, okay, so that your governor could go ahead and review those documents and have them stamped and signed and sent out to you. Are you following? Yes, okay. Right, so basically, though that process was not handled, so you weren't supposed to receive any letters or such by email. So once you had said to me that you received letters by email, that rose a red flag for me because legal documents that contain stamps and signatures are transferred in the mail so that you could have it verified with a lawyer or with your bank. Yes, he, he also, I think he uh, accidentally sent a picture of, uh, of two people. Okay. Like it was a strange picture of like two people looking, at, looking down at a, at a camera or something. I don't know what it was all about. I think he accidentally sent it to me. I see, I see. And it, it kind of, it, 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 well, it, it was a little confusing at first. And then, and then somebody said that uh, uh, something about uh, uh, them being uh, from Jamaica. And, uh, and, and those, uh, the people in the picture, they, they did look like they were from, from Jamaica. Okay. Uh, so it, 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 then it, it kind of added up a little bit. And then Mr. Uh, Agent Mitchell said, had said that they were, uh, it was a, uh, like a, or a, a group of people that were, uh, in, uh, in Jamaica. So that's okay. three, three things that uh, kind of made me think that they were in, uh, in Jamaica. Did they call you from uh, 876? There was one time that, it, yes, I did get a number that was 876. I had that and number. Exactly. That's what, that's why I'm saying that Mr. Davenport, and this Mrs. Turner, Susan Turner lady, they were the one that gave the information out also with John Carter. They hacked into the system from what Mr. Mr. Davenport is telling me and Mr. Mitchell, Mr. not Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Carter was the one that contacted Mr. Davenport and they paid Mr. Davenport up to $800,000 to transfer your information to them. Oh my goodness. Basically, as I said before, I'm only a private investigator, so most of this information is not based on me releasing it because once my investigation is finished, you'll be talking to an agent by the name of Carolyn Matches. She works with the Federal Reserve Bank, and she would be the one to assist you 
in receiving this cash award. Carolyn okay. Mathers? Matthews. Matthews. Matthews, right. Uh, I've, the only thing that I need to verify right now is how long it will take for them to consist a refund to you. And also, uh, there's a important question that uh, the company would want to find out. Uh, basically, they asked me yesterday if after being a victim of the scam, if you would still be interested in claiming the money. So basically, I told them that, well, I did not give you a rundown of how you won the cash award, so I would not be able to delegate on that. But basically, you were entered with 124 other persons, and 10 persons came out as a winner. So do you have nine other persons other than yourself that has also won the Sweet Six, and out of that, out of the 10 persons that has won, over seven of those persons has received their money before, already. So this money right. is not only, say, beneficial to you, but it's beneficial to the entire state because this money will help everyone to pay lower prices for food. It will help everyone to pay lower taxes. Basically, it's something that helps with the economy to make sure that we stay above drowning level. So we don't have to worry about paying high taxes or going over to, say, borrow loans from other countries. So basically this is used to help everyone living in your state and helping the entire United States of America. So you were entered according to how you've been paying your utility bills for the past five to ten years. You were selected by the government and entered in the competition. So basically this is something that you've legally won. And it's mainly all of the information is reducted or being held confidential because of the fact where most persons does not like when their information is public. So in most cases, you have to decide if you want it over the television or in the gleaners or newspapers or radios or how you want it to be promoted. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, from where I'm standing, I need to hear back from the FTC. And once I hear back from them, I'll be able to give a correct date that you could possibly look out for the check. But I'm sure that with this Mega Millions prize that you have won, I'm sure that, well, it's not nothing like what you do because you ended in a manner where you do business about writing decks. We don't accept any form of cash or cards or anything like that. They do things by the book so that there's a paper trail to show exactly where your money went. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> right. So, on most so places... As long as I can, get, sure. I can get assurances from you that, uh, that these uh, people are on the up and up. And, I mean, well, uh, basically, ma'am, as I said before, you have my number, and you see that it's a working number. So, uh, from what I could see is that I just need to make sure that, well, once they... Once you receive the refund, okay, those scammers that contacted you, they would not be able to get any information based on how much you've won, when it be delivered, how it would be delivered, or be delivering it. Do you understand? Yes, yeah. Right, because they're not going to stop calling, being that you've, they know that you've won, okay? They're going to continue to call. Yeah. Okay, and being that way, uh, the only way to be safe, okay, is to know exactly what you're dealing with, with a full understanding. And said, I haven't directly spoken to Mrs. Matthews as yet, but from her, from what I see on her file, has some really good stats on getting deliveries done. And talking to persons that she's worked with, she is really a very good agent. So I know that you will have a uh, understanding of what you're dealing with. But my main concern at this moment is trying to get you back your money so that you could do the right thing, become a millionaire as you should be. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yes. All right. So 
I will contact you back before the day's ends, and I'll keep you up to date on how things are per- proceeding. And as right. I said, okay. as soon as I get the information, you'll be the first to know. All right, so there's okay. nothing that I need to do? Or? At this current time, I know that you're in a bit of pickle, knowing who to trust or where to go. So my main interest right now is just trying to get you back your money. So I just want you to sit tight and let me work on that. And basically, we could go from there. Okay, I don't want right. you to jump the gun because... Let me, let me tell you something here, okay? Mm. I've been an investigator for 35 years. Yeah. And throughout my 35 years as being an investigator, I've learned one thing, okay? Action speaks louder than words. So I want to make sure that you see that you're not joining another scam organization because not only does the government want this to be resolved, okay, but the company wants it to be resolved, and I'm sure that you want it to be resolved. Yes. Okay, so I want to make sure that once you start working in order to receive it, you don't have any form of doubts working with these people because these are honest business people. And from, this is something that I shouldn't even say, but from Mrs. Matthew Stats, okay, she has delivered 21 cash awards in the space of seven years, okay? And she has one of the best records. So with this situation, they're actually giving you their best agent to work with so that it could be resoluted as fast as possible, okay? So I've said enough, so let me get that information and see how fast you could get the money back and see if I could get in contact with Mrs. Matthews and see if she could give you a call and give you some more information. All right. Okay? Okay. Okay, Okay. nice talking with you, and please feel free to call at any time. All right. Okay, Okay, David, thank you. Okay. Bye. All right, bye now. Good morning, Mrs. Witter. Uh, Hello, uh, Mr. Bunton. Yes, sir. I had a uh, a call. Uh, um, what, who were the people that you had in in custody? Well, we had uh, Mr. Dev- we have Devonport. We have Mr. Gonzalez. We have a Mr. Anderson, a Susan Turner, and okay. also a, a Robert Bernard. Okay, uh, because I I got a call from a uh, David Sawyer. So is no, he is whatever, he, is no he legitimate? One, no. Because no I'm supposed, supposed to be sending a thousand dollars today to. No, no, don't send any money to those guys. Okay. No. Okay. No. When Mister, this is what I want you to do. Okay. I want you to get rid of these cameras from calling your phone. Okay. So, the protocol would be for you to change your your phone number. Okay. Yeah. to an uh, unpublished number, okay? So when you call your phone company to get the number changed, you just tell them that you want your number to be unpublished, okay? All right, yeah. So that's what you'll do this morning. Just call the phone company, okay, and tell them that, well, you're, you ju- you, you're getting calls that you don't appreciate, okay? And tell them that you want your number to be changed, okay? So I, I should just throw away this account information then? Right, throw away the account information. It's not yet defined who you'll be working with, so I know Mr. Bunton. I know that man Sawyers is not the right person, okay? Right. Because the person that you'll be working with, is she's a lady, not a guy, okay? All right, okay. All right, so first thing that you do when you hang up is call the phone company and tell them that you'd like to have your number change, okay? All right. And then once they decide to change it, you tell them that you want it unpublished. Write that down. Unpublished, all right. All right. How do you have a cell phone? No, no, I just have this, my, my home phone. Okay, okay, so once you got it changed, you would be the one that would have to call me back so I could direct you to the right person, okay? All right, okay. I have your number written down, so... Right. Keep it safe, so get the number changed and call me back because they're not going to stop calling, as I told you, because they know that you've won, okay? So once someone else is just going to take up what Mr. Devonport and those other guys left 
off, so I don't want that to happen. So I was talking with the company yesterday, and they wanted me to ask you to change your number. Mm, yeah. Okay, so that, that would be the best thing to do. Just get your number changed to an unpublished number, and then you call me back at my number. If you don't if you don't get me on the phone, you just leave me a voice message with your phone number in it, so I'll be able to call you back. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Because I'll be going into a meeting at ten o'clock that has to do with your refund. So basically, I'll be busy for a few minutes or an hour or so. All right. Okay. All right. So, but please do get the number changed and don't send anyone any money without me giving you the go ahead. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for calling. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Hello? 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 That's Mrs. Witter? Uh, yes, yeah. Yes, this is Mr. David Bunton. How are you doing? Oh, Mr. Bunton, yes, yes, hello. Yes, how are things going? Well, not, not, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I saw that, well... Did you get a chance to call the phone company, is it? Uh, I didn't. No, I tried to... I called them, and I was on uh, on hold for about uh, half an hour, and I, I just couldn't... I had to go to the bathroom, and so I was... Uh, okay, so you just horrible with uh, customer service. What phone company are you? <coughs> with uh, AT&T. AT&T? Okay, okay. Well, okay, and did that guy try to call you back? Uh, somebody else did. Okay, I see. Um, well, uh, if you could make name. the attempt, I didn't hear you. I don't even know his name, but I I only spoke with him briefly, and I I see. I told him well, I wasn't you, interested. Okay, well, if you could basically just try and attempt to do so again, that would be good. I just got out of the meeting a few minutes ago, and uh, they are getting the refund uh, ready so that well I could tell you when you would be receiving it. So I told him that while well, you're still getting calls from those scammers. So they're saying that just to be safe, that none of the information, that these cameras don't hack your phone, just for you to change your number. So I told them that I told you to do that, so I was waiting for you to call me back. So I was just actually uh, checking to see if you had actually got it done. Yeah, no, I, I was on the phone with them, but I, I couldn't I couldn't wait okay. anymore. I'll, I'll I call see. them back. I see. Yeah. Yes, just give it a try and see if you could get it done because it's very important. It's for your safety and such because you don't want to receive the Mega Millions cash award and then someone tries to kill you for it. So it's better to kill be me. safe than sorry. Well, this is a lot of money and a lot of persons knows about it. So Somebody I'm just saying no one will kill me do. for it. No, I'm not saying that that oh would happen, but goodness. we don't want to. What, kind, what, kind, what am I getting myself wrapped up into? I, I, I'm not saying that that's going to happen, okay? I'm just saying that with all those persons that are calling. Maybe the winnings are know. just, it's not, uh, maybe it's just okay. too much. No, it's not about the winnings. It's all about making sure that these persons don't know when you'll be receiving the money. Yes, or but I, what I'm saying money. is maybe it's just not worth it. Maybe the going through with that whole thing is just not worth it. If there's going to be people that are wanting to kill me. Oh As I said, that was not based on something that I've seen that is just an example of well things that could possibly happen because um, uh, see, they could possibly house. happen right it could possibly because you have a lot of people in your neighborhood that these people could try to call and tell that you want a lot of money that would want to come over to borrow money or basically what would I say they would want to say beg you money or try to rob you or something but I'm not, oh, I haven't goodness. seen any of that. I haven't seen <sighs> any of that happen this in my life. This world is getting, and that's just reason, getting out of hand. And that's a, right, and that's the reason why I'm saying that it's better to change your number so that the guys will not be able to get in contact with you because it's easy for you to mistake someone for someone and then you give them the wrong information and then that person has too much information, okay? I've been... A private investigator for 35 years okay so when you know better you have to do better okay so I'm just trying to make sure that it's safe and I'm also just trying to make sure that you understand that this is a lot of money and anyone would do anything to get their hands on it yeah yes yeah, yeah. 
that's money. It's just like those guys that try to take away your $41,000. People do crazy shit for money. Sorry about my language. Yes, okay? yeah. Right. But try and see if you could get the number change and give me back a call. I'll be waiting to hear from the bank and when they will have the, the check mailed out. So just try and call me back, okay? All right, okay, I will. Okay, sweetie. Bye. Okay, bye now. Hello? Yes, Mrs. Witter? Yes, yeah. Yes, Mr. Bunton. Uh, m yes, Mr. Bunton, yes. I missed your call, okay. it seems. Yes, you missed my call, but I'm kind of happy you called back because uh, the bank manager from the Bank of America yes. wants, to talk, wants to talk with you. Her name is Carolyn Matthews, so she'll give you a call, okay? Okay, Carolyn Matthews? Right, that's correct. All right, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, uh, is this a good time, Mrs. Witter? It is, well, as good time as any, I guess, yeah. Okay, uh, I just wanted to basically, do you remember what the guy that called today was saying? The what? The guy that you told me that called earlier this morning. Yes, sir. Do you remember what he was saying? Well, he wanted me to go and uh, send some money. Right, but did he tell you what you won? Well, he said that it was the, uh, um... What did he say? It wasn't. It wasn't even Publishers Clearinghouse. It was a uh, Mega Millions. Right. It's uh, Mega Millions. But I was trying to figure out how he got that information altogether. No, I don't know. <clears throat> Right. I'm not sure. I'm I'm trying to make sure that they don't have your phone lines hacked mm. because the information that I'm going to share with you right now is really personal. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, I was in the meeting for most day today, and they were discussing about you being a victim of those scammers, and also they were discussing other information based on how they could help you to receive this money because they were making to know what my investigation of everything was like and I told them that personally you had destroyed most of the information so what did was run a diagnostic test on the system and saw where you how much you withdrawed from your accounts and such and basically they're deciding on giving you back the money that you lost they also wanted to ask questions based on if you are still interested in receiving the cash award. So I told them, well, yes, you are still interested, but if they do anything to help you to receive it as fast as possible, well, that would be magnificent because I told them that you've been getting a lot of calls from what you told me. And, right, I told them also that you've been... Mrs. Witter? <coughs> Mrs. Witter? Uh, hello, yes. Are you sleeping? No, no. Okay. Because if you want to sleep, I could call you back tomorrow. You want me to call I, you in the morning? I, I can hear hyenas in the background. No, those are not hyenas. Those are night crawlers. Night I, bugs. Night crawlers. Uh, those are night bugs. What's, uh, what's all the yell yelping? I hear hyenas. No, it's not hyenas. I told you that's probably the phone given problems. Is, is this better? Uh, is this any better? Yes, yeah. Okay, so I was saying that the decision on helping you to receive the, the cash award. Okay, so I'll be calling you up in the morning so I could give you instructions on what to do because they would like for me to handle the case being that you're getting a lot of calls. Okay? Uh, all right. Yes. Okay, so I'll talk to you in the morning. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh, all right. Okay. okay. You as well. Sweet dreams. Bye. Bye. Don't let those hyenas get you. Okay, I'll talk to you in the morning. All right. Bye now. So it looks like this one is going to be revived. Stay tuned for more shenanigans and hopefully another victim save. Well, there it is, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. Then hit the bell and share. And until the next one, vote out. You have been by Oda.